It's back to school week, and here with tips to prepare parents for a successful year ahead. Please welcome back Monica Mengen. Hello. Monica, so cute. So cute. So cute. I love that. I know, really fun, right? So we're prepping kids to go back to school. It's a big transition. It so is. we have tips mm -hmm. that take kids all the way from kindergarten through college. And okay. we have kids that are have gone through every age. Between us, yeah. we have seven kids. That's crazy, Yeah, that's right? crazy, yeah. So first thing we're talking about, we're sitting down here to have a meditation moment. Meditation mm. can really help your kids. Whether mm. you have smaller kids and you sit and you do it with them, or even your older kids, when they're on the school bus, they could listen to something. Yeah. They could walk to school, do a walking meditation. There's so many free meditations on YouTube. You can look them up. You can even just like download them like podcasts too. It's a really great thing to help relieve stress and just kind of center them. Part of our kids' curriculum was <laughs> mindfulness. They had to take a meditation yeah. class, yeah. which was amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, now that we're mindful, well, let's move on. All right, okay. what's next? And now we're gonna get up in our lady in dresses, dresses. <laughs> and try not to flash the audience. Okay. okay. Woo. What's All right, this? so we have some after school checklists. A lot of people think about the morning and that being crazy, but what you do after school sets you up for a great next day. That's right. So what we've done here is we have four different templates that are on the website. Okay. And you just print them out and put it in any frame and suddenly it becomes dry erase. So oh. your kids can be like, oh, did you have your healthy snack? Check, Check it off. Did you unpack your lunchbox? Nope. Check. Yeah, <laughs> Mark, so Mark's working on that. Yeah. And each day yeah. you can just do this. Super that's simple. That's amazing. Okay. Yeah, how do you communicate with your kids about well, how they're doing in school? This is usually how it goes. So, Mark, how was your day at school? Good. Fine. Okay, did you learn anything new? No. no. Exactly. So, we need to ask open ended questions. So, these are conversation cards. They're great for the car ride home, maybe when you're sitting having dinner. Like, what made you feel the happiest today? All right, or did you, how did you help someone today? Is that and jerk Amanda's mom still an alcoholic? <laughs> she is, That's unfortunately. So That's so <laughs> that weird. That one's for free on the That's website, too. That's a weird too. one. <laughs> we have these templates all set, but they okay. really do encourage conversation. <laughs> and a little gossip. <laughs> all right, what's this? Okay. This is a middle school survival kit. Middle school is mm -hmm. part of the kids. There's so many changes, especially yes. girls. So yes. if you can prepare them a little survival kit that goes in the locker, it goes a long way. So you sit at lunch, you get a stain, you're mortified. Stain, stain remover yes. right there. These okay. are great. You go to gym class and Put you're a little extra car. sweaty and you don't deodorant. smell great. A yes. deodorant, a little body spray, all kinds of things that can just relieve the stress and kind of like, oh, your hair is a mess. And also, mm -hmm. your kid can be the one that people start coming to. Mm -hmm. Also for girls, period products. Keep them in there yes. so they're not yes. having to go to the nurse and feel all uncomfortable. We're going to take a break. Back to school parenting tips when we come back. Stick around. Monica Mangan and tips for parents as their kids go back to school. All right. What we're here okay. at the incredible we're in like locker. Middle school and high school stage yes. now, right? And a locker can be a lot like a kid's bedroom where it gets messy fast uh, and yes. like it all just kind of goes chaotic. So yes. setting them up for success with some organization is really helpful. Now, some people go crazy with their lockers. Like I've seen chandeliers, unnecessary, but right. having magnetic things that can hold your pens, your pencils, labeling binders, really key in mm. the beginning. Having a mirror, again, it kind of ties into that like self-confidence. You can kind of check yourself a little bit. Um, there's so many different things you can do in here. Grass is optional, but very cute. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Best locker yeah. I've ever seen. I know, if only. Yeah. Okay, now, high school students tend to stay up very late at night in the summer, and then all of a sudden, they're getting on a bus at like 5.30 or 6 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Right. So how do we help them adjust their sleep schedule? So here's some tips. First thing, no caffeine after school. Like, just cut it off, encourage them to do that. Mm -hmm. um, having a good sound machine really can help with that. Is that like, just like just white noise? Just the white noise, like, uh -huh. and yeah, for that dark, and for darkness, yeah. Darkness, yes. yes. Uh -huh. Having a really nice, cozy environment. So I know it seems weird, but like, plants even help. This guy needs a little water. But creating a calm environment can help a lot, uh -huh. too. So Ooh. stick them on it, Thank encourage you. them out. All right. Charging okay. stations. Charging stations. So most students now use laptops in school, especially post-pandemic. And 
they're required to show up with it charged. I know mm -hmm. this firsthand because I've gotten so many emails from teachers like, hey, Callan arrived again with his laptop not charged. So we created- <laughs> But Callan it never listens to us. No, no, absolutely not. Cal, great kid, doesn't charge his computer. Mm -hmm. So what we created is a little charging station. So every night before they go to bed, smart. plug it in. It's also good for phones and even your backup chargers. But that way they have no excuse. Also, I encourage, um, I really encourage parents to collect the devices at night Absolutely. and charge them either in the kitchen or in the or hallway. In the hallway, <laughs> take the devices out of the room at night because it, it, they've shown studies that prove that it decreases anxiety in kids. Yep. Just knowing, even if they're not on their phones, knowing the phone is in their room can It'll increase wake them anxiety. Up. Monica, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Always great. Go to kellymark.com for all this great information and, much and more. more. Yeah. yeah. Coming up next, we're going to open up that pesky inbox. Stick around.